Hello, it is uh, Dennis here from Save Slot again. Uh, hello. D I said that. Anyway, this is my second Kerbal video. Um, Kerbal Space Program is the best game in the universe. And in the last episode, I sent up uh, a little ship called the Discover, which is kind of like a 2001 homage. Is it homage or homage? Do you say the H? Homage. Uh, anyway, by the time I got into orbit, all the fuel is gone, so I built a fuel tanker to send some fuel up there, but uh, as you can see, things haven't been working out. But at least I uh, designed this one to actually return so it has parachutes. So the crew will survive, even if the rest of it doesn't. But no big deal. There's no money in this game. Not yet. Anyway, uh, the solution was, as always, four struts, more rockets. And now we have orbital velocity. We'll start our gravity turn. Look at that. You can't sit, son. Get back here. I wanna look at you. I wanna look at you, lighty face. So I set an intercept course for the Discover. As you can see, those centrifugal rotate devices are pretty, pretty groovy looking in space, man. I mean, it's like see him from a distance just rotating and it's like that's that's the spaceship that is so cool so here I are closing in and we're gonna start attempting uh, something known as space docking now space docking is probably the most challenging thing in this game maybe aside from landing in a place where you want to land see what I mean just fucking ah oh, god damn alignment issues these are hard to fix but, you know, aside from this sort of space docking, uh, there's two other space dockings I'm, I've, you know, been made aware of. Um, one is the kind where you basically poop into a woman's vagina. And I guess that's kind of like docking because the poo is dock, you know, going from one place to another. It's like an airlock or something, I guess. Um, and then the second type is where two uncircumcised men basically touch their penises together and envelop one another with their foreskin. Um, I guess both kind of qualify as space docking, although the other one just seems kind of like, you know, sausage linking, or, you know, it's like, the, it doesn't, I don't see what it has to do with space. It's just kind of gay. Well, that kind of gay, it's pretty, it's not pretty gay, it is gay. I mean, that's, that's absolutely gay. I mean, you can't have a not gay version of male space docking. I guess the pooping in the vagina thing is not gay, but... Now, you know, if you had to do one type of space docking between Kerbal Space Docking, two penises enveloping each other, and pooping into a woman's vagina. I don't know, at this point I'm kinda leaning towards pooping into a woman's vagina, as disgusting as that sounds. It's it, it space docking is really fucking hard, man. It's really fucking hard. But we're getting it. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Get it in. Just just do it! Just fucking... Oh, it's so slow! Come on! Go, 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 Come on, yes, 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 yes. Touch, yes. Yeah, you're doing it. Lock it, lock it, lock it! Yay! I think we're space locked. Alright, so time to transfer over some, you know, all the shit. Put it in. Pooping in the vagina. And it's time to leave. You always want to make sure you leave enough, um, you know, fuel and uh, RCS to just kind of get away from the ship and be able to decelerate. Now, in this case, it's weird because uh, I didn't really have that much fuel left and I ended up using RCS to actually deorbit. Um, which is, you know, I don't know. I, the difference between like fuel and RCS for those who you know, don't play Kerbal whoever you are. Um, the RCS is just like little thrusters on your ship, whereas like the fuel is like your big fucking engines and shit. But I managed to use my little tiny thrusters to get it low enough to fuck up the uh, orbit. And now as you can see, my little uh, fuel tanker is returning and uh, re-entering the atmosphere. I like the little flame effects. It's a nice touch. Yeah, so we have the parachutes there, and uh, they're going to stop the, the Kerbals from uh, dying hopefully. Um, I think we're landing off the coast of, I don't know, Kerba Kerbal Africa? And so my ship kind of broke apart, but uh, the parachutes 
seem to be bringing down both section fine. So, you know, I don't know, maybe we can reclaim some of these parts, use them to make some paperweights around the office, maybe staples, possibly uh, elephants. Look at this. <laughs> awesome! Well, and uh, look at that. Anyway, so uh, after uh, about three trips uh, where I had to replicate that fuel, um, I finally managed to fill out the ship, and then I built this little lander thingy, which is uh, basically uh, able to deploy, pop down to a planet. Uh, it's got a little cathane miner on it, so if there's any uh, question about uh, return fuel, uh, it can pop itself down on a resource and then like suck it up and turn it into fuel and do stuff with it. Wonderful, amazing space stuff. Um, but yeah, I managed to dock that with no in incident, but I forgot to fraps it. And now uh, the Discovery is actually ready to be sent, or sorry, the Discover is actually ready to be uh, sent out on the mission it was originally intended to, which is to look at stuff that is not, not around where we were. Look at other stuff. We're gonna go look at space stuff. Lots of space stuff to see. We're very excited. And there's the moon. Yeah. So now let's uh, get the fuck out of here. I'm leaving carbon. Bye. So yeah, um, I'll probably uh, start building a fish fish in my next video. So I don't know. Tune in. I've been mainly building like interplanetary craft and like mun bases and shit. But uh, planning on uh, building a space station. We'll see how that goes. So I don't know. Subscribe if you want. And uh, if you don't subscribe, then uh, you're you're poopy head. I don't like you. So goodbye. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody.